and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the king masculine archetype. King men are characterized as being stable, rational, and confident. Carl Jung describes the king masculine archetype as the part of a man's psyche that um, is in control of the executive functioning, making rational de decisions and passing judgment. Now, I know it might ruffle a few feathers, but king men do tend to have a me, me, me attitude. Just a little bit. Now, on the other end of that, kings can be very giving and very supportive, um, generous. Um, they could be amazing providers. And I wanted to talk about how king men are created. Most importantly, king men are born kings. They are alpha males. They naturally, naturally just fall into a position of dominance. And after all, king men still have to learn to hone and develop their leadership qualities. But at the end of the day, most kings are born kings. On the other side of that, there are a lot of kings who are developed, who've learned to master their leadership skills. In this case, we have somebody like 50 Cent who started out as mostly a messenger man, um, really good business sense and different things. And then he's turned that business sense and that essentially successful rap career into an empire um, of films and TV shows and his own label, G-Unit. Um, and then other examples, of course, are Nipsey Hussle, who um, I'm not sure if he created a um, record label before he passed, but he had a very successful rap career. Um, Nipsey Hussle is more categorized as the warrior masculine archetype, and you can check out the video on that um, to see more information about that. But he also developed into a King Zeus-like figure as well before his untimely passing. Now, if you ask me, and you did come here to ask me, the King masculine archetype has attributes of all the other archetypes. Now, the king has to be a wise sage. He has to be a devoted and strategic warrior. He has to be able to be witty and cunning like the messenger man. Um, and he has to be creative like the artist, sensual like the lover. Um, and then, of course, rational and be able to make judgments like a king. So the king masculine archetype um, is a combination of all these qualities in one man, which is really, really interesting, but really, really cool. Um, kings we've seen in history and time, they were able to make these, uh, have this order and judgment because they had to be able to um, control an army. They had to be able to um, be artistic and be able to go to the ma magician and, you know, be intuitive. And so, that's the one thing I want to say. If you have not checked out the other types in the Masculine Archetype series, definitely go check out the Sage and the other ones. Lastly, I'm going to briefly touch on what uh, feminine archetypes will be attracted to the king and what um, archetypes the king will be attracted to. Firstly, we always have the queen, which the queen is the most powerful move on the chessboard. So there is no king without his queen. Um, so obviously queen women and king men are going to get along. A very good example of this is Sierra and Russell Wilson. Um, Russell is also a messenger man as well, but he's obviously a king man as well. And um, Sierra is a um, queen feminine archetype. Um, and then you also have the king that will be attracted to the sage. The sage will be his strategic ally this is somebody who will want to conquer the world with him um, because she has the mentality, she has the like the strategic ability and the knowledge um, to back it up. And a great example of that would be um, our former president, Barack Obama, and his wife, Michelle Obama, um, our former first lady. They are a really good king and sage pairing, and I totally love them. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe.